have decided they want to put Steph Curry in as many defensive situations where it's tough on him to decide how he wants to play. LeBron James in the middle of the floor, Kyrie Irving up on top being guarded by Steph Curry. And immediately they try to do a quick pick and roll by Curry, uh, Kyrie setting the screen. He comes in, but well, then they give up on that. And you see Curry trying to hug him and stay with him. Now he goes down the low post area. Another pick and roll being set. Now right about here, Curry starts to lose. The decision on Curry's part, do I stay with my man or do I realize that LeBron James is coming right down my back? Meanwhile, his guy, Kyrie Irving, is going to wind up getting over into the opposite corner. Well, all of a sudden, when you're indecisive on what we want to do, Curry just winds up standing in the lane. There's Kyrie all by himself. Nobody guarding him. Wide open shot. It's the second quarter for GSW. Stephen Curry sits out. Steph played all 12 minutes in that first quarter and a hustle play by Kevin Love. Is. That's what he does. He's a rebounder. He went and got that one. Let's go back to the last game, guys, when Golden State did not come out with the energy that they came out with tonight. 33-16 at the end of the first quarter last game. Tonight, 29-28. A little bit of difference. So is that what it's about, energy more than X's and O's right now for Golden State? Well, last game for Cleveland, that's all it was about. They had to come out and play harder and be more physical than they did in games one and two, and then it turned around. It was Golden State that was an aggressive last game. Sean Livingston, good job getting that one back. Yeah, and, and to be honest, energy uh, enhances your execution. You know, if you're doing things harder, you're going to play harder, you're going to execute better, you're going to cut harder, and you're going you're gonna to score easier. And Danny, give me a little breakdown of what, we, what you've seen from LeBron James so far. Well, so far, I don't want to say he's afraid to shoot, but he's settling right now. And I think he's a little anxious about the defenders that Golden State is bringing to him. You see here, he gets into the lane, which we know he loves to be. But every time he tries to make a, a, a play, there you see two, three defenders come in. Here again, you got three defenders in the lane. He's kicking it out. He's not being super aggressive here. He definitely should have took the shot, but he gets into the lane and kicks it out again. So I think he's a little anxious. Uh, trying not to get that third foul, but I think he needs to be more aggressive for his Cleveland team to come. He's been jumping in the air a lot, and like Coach said before, maybe he's a little nervous. He's got two fouls. He's trying to figure out where to, that extra blue jersey's coming from so he doesn't get caught for his third. Well, Vinny, what do you think about this right here? I don't think he's going to miss that one. <laughs> <laughs> Second field goal of the game for LeBron, Cavs up three. He's got a lot of catching up to do to make 26 field goal attempts like yeah. he had last game. Steph is fouled by J.R. Smith. Crafty, crafty offense right there. It, it really is. Once you get a guy in the air, it's jumping to him. If I'm the defender, that's a free hit. <laughs> that's what I would do. If I, I was in the air, yeah, I'm going to make you feel it, knowing I'm going to get a foul. Has Steph looked more like Steph here tonight than at any point in this series? Well, he's been more aggressive. I mean, everything he's doing off the dribble. There, I thought they had him in a pretty good position. They should have kept him going baseline. But he kind of gave a little hesitation dribble and they couldn't control it, but they, he needs to be aggressive. I like seeing him be aggressive, and he's going to miss some shots, but we know if he gets it going at some point, he can explode this game wide open. What you can see is when Steph has the ball in his hand early in the possession, Cleveland takes him out of the play by double-teaming him. But when they get him off the ball early in the possession, then he can come back and get it again and then do his magic from there if he wants. Well, if you give the great shooters of Kyrie, of, of Steph Curry or Clay Thompson any any airspace, they're going to make you pay. Here, Bogut kind of sticks his leg out a little bit. Kyrie Irving's not happy. Jefferson can't get there. Quick release. Here, a little penetration. No, there's a block. Now you have your four-man, Draymond Green, who can really push the basketball. Kyrie helps just for a split second. Another three. That's how quick they can score if you're not efficient defensively and especially offensively. And big-time news for the Golden State fans is that Clay and Curry have combined for the most points in the finals, and we are early here in the third quarter. And they're having their biggest game thus far, combining them okay, into game number four here in Cleveland, which is a good thing for Golden State. Danny, where do you want to see the Cavs go on this possession? Well, I would just like to see some ball movement. You know, you want your stars to answer runs by the other team by making plays. Uh, but Cleveland, they're just not getting anyone in position to make a good play. Right Look at everyone standing. Yeah. Now it's, if he makes a great play, work. good. And a foul there on Sean Livingston on Kyrie Irving. But it feels like it's Kyrie Irving against the world right now, doesn't it? Everything seems to come yeah. down to an isolation at the end, which is not the same for Golden State. Golden State has Cleveland's defense scrambling around, trying to get the shooters. Kyrie, really good at taking you off the dribble, but Livingston's a pretty good defender. Thompson's a pretty good defender. You put them in those one-on-one -on -one situations, they do a decent job of keeping them in front of them.
And Vinny, you might as well give that foul right there if you're Livingston, right? With Kyrie that close to the hoop. Yeah, I mean, Kyrie should have made that really. I mean, that's a pretty easy shot for him. But the thing that coach talked about is Golden State has so many guys that can take you off the dribble. So they run more continuity stuff. You're always worrying about the three point ball. Livingston, Iguodala, Clay Thompson, Curry, all these guys, they throw them the ball where Kyrie and LeBron have the ball to make the plays for guys. Tristan Thompson somehow got that offensive rebound, still wrestling away the ball. That's a big play, play, man. They score it's another miss. It's yeah. another, it miss another miss. One of their best shooters, Kyrie. Slip out screen. And, and, and see, they back it out. Down to five on the shot clock for Kyrie. The three yeah. over Curry. Yeah. You, you're not going to win the game that way. Is that way. a bad possession, yeah, Daniel? Yes, it is a bad possession. Even if he makes it, it's a bad possession. Here's Clay. Oh, the rebound oh, comes boy. right to Curry. Oh, boy. It's Draymond the Splash Green Brothers night so far. Play. Draymond Green's activity. Yeah. Curry was the leading rebounder back in game number one, right? Yeah. Nine rebounds for him. Yeah, well, are we going to say they missed a lot of opportunities, or did they not really have a lot of opportunities to wind up catching Golden State down the stretch? It looked to me like the lack of ball movement, body movement, especially in the fourth quarter, when the jump shots are going in, they look good, but they didn't go in at certain times. They needed more continuity, more ball movement, because not only that, it would take some possessions away from Golden State, mm -hmm. who started to get a little bit of a flow. They had the, the part of the game there in the fourth. What's happened? They're going up and down all the time. That's what Golden State wants to do. They don't want to have to worry about LeBron in the post and stuff. Wow. I, I was Another miss free throw. I, I was hoping to see somebody in the post area for the Cavaliers exactly. put the ball in his hands in the post, see if they come and double. Now you make your passes on the perimeter right. to get open looks. I, I can't remember people getting in the post in the second half. Steph with the ball fake and the basket. Mm. And the lead is nine. And Cleveland in a whole lot of trouble. 54.4 to go in regulation. So think about this. Nine-point ball game. The Cavaliers have missed 11 free throws in this game. Not only the free throws, but, you know, you watch that last play with Golden State. They trap Steph Curry. He gets rid of the basketball. He doesn't stand. What does he do? He cuts back door. They get him back the basketball. He's got shooters in the corner, so they can't come off the corner. It gives him space in the lane. But it's constant movement. Cleveland, on the other hand, dribble, dribble, dribble. One pass, maybe. And then if LeBron and Kyrie can bail them out or they hit a tough shot, it looks good. But you can't expect that to happen all the time. Well, let's think about one thing Steve Kerr said, the coach of Golden State. We tend to wear teams out in the fourth quarter because of all their movement, because of the pace that they play at. And that could be what happened. Right, Cleveland reverted back to the isolation ball with Kyrie and LeBron without ball movement. And it, and it hurt them again tonight. So it would have been great to have it 2-2, but I think Golden State uh, deserved to win tonight because they played smarter and they played bigger in the bigger moments, but they played their style of basketball. Cleveland helped them because of the lack of ball movement and the defense of Golden State picked up as well. Tristan Thompson wasn't a factor in the second half at all. And at the end of the day, your superstars have to play well. Uh, Kyrie and LeBron will fill the stat sheets up, but they can't be pleased because their job is, is to make everybody else that much better and no one else could pick up the slack for them. You, know, you go back to the fact that before last game, Golden State for 10 consecutive games had held the Cavaliers below 100 yep. points. They give up 120 points last game, lost by 30. They come back tonight and hold them under 100 once again. That's 11 out of 12 times that yep. they've held them under 100 points. Pretty good defensive job. Yes. Interesting. Stephen Curry with 38 points. That's an NBA Finals career high for him. Game five from Oracle Arena coming up on Monday night. And the next NBA Finals film room will be seen Tuesday at 9 Eastern on NBA.